Hello everybody and welcome back to New Eriador. Today I've got a good project in mind, but first up let us start here in the base where we did some progress and of course I want to show you that. So as you can see we did some stuff with villagers and this guy is a bit confused. Let me help you. So uh, yeah, we've uh, transported a lot of villagers because the four iron golem farms here are now done. So we've got four now in place and at a later point we want to extend it so we have eight. So there will be one on top of each of these but I think that this looks quite amazing now. And as well as that you may notice that there's still the cake here, there's the blown up present there, the chest of skid. So I haven't tidied these up because I guess that I want to keep most of them in the base and uh, let them be part of the base. And um, yeah, I think that this now looks quite good and for the future my plan is to build a jungle here. So this area where I'm standing right now should be jungle again. So. There's a bit more uh, stuff going on on the ground here. But before we do that, we need to take care of transporting the iron golems to a point where they die or let them die here. I don't know yet what to do with them. I thought of uh, doing something with slime blocks maybe so they hop around a little bit. And uh, maybe you have some ideas what we could do with the iron golems. If so, let us know in the comments. Because that would be cool if we had some killing mechanism that is kind of unique and Maybe you can do something on the community server and show it to me then. But uh, yeah, that's the plan for the iron golems. Kill them somewhere and then bring the iron to the middle where we can transport it up to our center point. But that's a bit of a way to go because we need to build up the storage area on top with the sorting to get the iron and the roses separated. But uh, for now we've got a good iron supply and we can work from that. But the question is now what can you do with iron? So the first thing that comes into my mind is hoppers and that is the first thing that I would like to do today because uh, with more hoppers now I can extend the guardian farm a little bit to make it a squid farm as well and we not only get the prismarine shards but also the uh, insect that drops uh, is dropped by the squid that is killed by the guardians. So. Uh, that's what we'll do first today and the other thing is we can make iron blocks and with iron blocks we can make beacon pyramids but for the beacon pyramids we of course need wither skulls so uh, I thought of a new way of farming uh, wither skeletons it's not really a new way but at least um, it is an improved way of my old uh, way of doing it if you know the tutorial I guess quite a lot of people know it because it's one of my most public uh, tutorials uh, the one that is uh, called how to prepare a nether fortress, excuse me, why can I get out of the minecart here? Oh, now I can. Um, so how to prepare a nether fortress and I think that uh, I've got a good improvement on that and we want to try that out with the nether fortress that is quite close to our base in the nether and uh, we can get wither skulls then from there. But uh, yeah, first up I will grab me some hoppers and chests now and I will meet you at the guardian farm. Alright, here we are and uh, we actually need to go down so I need to jump now and I'll do it right here. Oh, that's gonna be close. Whoa, almost hit the border of the glass there. So now we need to wait a little moment to make these guys despawn. It's lagging here a little bit. It might be because of the clock or something or all the entities. So uh, if you haven't seen this farm yet, there was an episode where I built this. And um, we built in these hoppers there to collect some of the insects and I want to collect more now. So what I'll need to do is to uh, yeah, connect more hoppers there. So uh, we get more hoppers and then uh, we need to connect this downwards to the hoppers down here. And I guess that's what I'm gonna start with. So uh, first up I will take out every second block here and just place a chest. So we can connect the whole chain here with hoppers. And in the meantime the uh, dropper elevator here can empty itself. I don't know how many items are in here. Sounds like quite a lot. 
So one, two, three, and then from here on. Oh, now I'm getting the items. Guess we'll just go around the corner into there. So the items from here, the insects, will now get also dispensed and then we'll land up there in the storage area and uh, the real dangerous part will be now to yeah, get the hoppers into there because I need to be careful with the water, it can't flow into the lava and then there are the guardians. So I guess that I will have to go up there and into it which might be also a little bit of an issue. Don't know if I can go in from here. I can still hear a guardian. I hope that he fell down by now. And let me go up. Oh, why is the water not extended? That's weird. There's one block missing here. Hmm. Place this. I don't really get this. But yeah, uh, now I guess I have to close this off here. So the water can't flow down when I take out the blocks. And any moment there could be some guardians spawning above me. Rika is helping me a little bit and uh, shooting guardians if they spawn up there. She's standing on the pillar. But maybe I'm lucky and don't get shot here. Because still without the regeneration the guardians are quite a hard enemy in my opinion. Okay, let's do it like this. Three in this direction, three in this one. And I guess that I will now just skip ahead, but uh, I will keep recording and if something happens, I will show it of course to you. All right, the hoppers are in place and now I can just take out the dirt and it will just burn. But that doesn't really matter. And then I just need to extend the columns with the chests. And then we can go up and see if we get uh, the insects to our chest up there. So let me do that and I'll be back in just a moment. Looks like Minecraft is bugged a little bit because I can't leave the bed. Got the chat and the leaf bed. And if I press escape nothing happens so... I guess that I have to reconnect. Uh, wait a second. I can't even press escape to reconnect. Okay, I guess that I have to restart Minecraft. Good job. It looks like as if it's working. That's the first insect that I saw. So. That is going now also into the chest and we can create Dark Prismarine just up here, which is quite uh, good. And now I think we can move on to our next project, which, which is the Nether Fortress. Alright, we are in the Nether. That's our portal and the Nether Fortress uh, that we spawned in is below. But uh, that's of course not the fortress that we want to use. It's the one that is back there in the distance. And I guess the way over there is just by going down here the hill and then across. I hope that there's a connection between, no, not here. So maybe we need to go around a little bit, but we'll see it in just a second. And uh, then I will quickly explain to you how the um, different parts works, um, just in case you haven't seen the tutorial. And maybe I will also make a tutorial out of the footage that I'm creating today here too. So uh, there's an updated version of the tutorial because I think that this is a quite good one and people should use this more frequently. So here we are in the fortress, Rika is coming too. And um, I'd like to go up to there somewhere. Uh, but uh, of course we need to be careful. We got some potions, uh, fire resistance and I also got some night vision. And um, so we can uh, see better. Hopefully, I don't know if that makes any difference. I would try. Uh, maybe I should drink the night vision first and then the fire resistance because then I know when it's getting dark that I don't have fire resistance anymore. So now um, the blaze that are already here can't damage me really. So I can just go through and kill them because blazes and if you're ignited and on fire is uh, really a problem. Let's see if it goes up here. Mm, kind of. 
Let's see if it's safe. Right, looks good. There are a few skeletons over there, as you can see. But I think that we'll um, yeah, start over here right away. So uh, the fortress is uh, split into different um, sections. And I don't have an arrow. Uh, maybe Ricky can give me one arrow. That would be great. Die. After a little while, you will notice quite fast which parts of the fortress you can connect and where you can leave stuff out. So for example, we connected all these crossways here and sometimes we filled in some blocks just because we had a gap of one block and then we just filled it in. But here we just marked out where they can't spawn and uh, back here I'm right now working on an area where there's a walkway here and a area from the room here where stuff can spawn and I would just knock out the blocks here in the middle so I can see across and walk across but uh, it's not important to fill that in with uh, any of the blocks because the wizard skeletons can't spawn in this area here. <laughs>
Alright, that is how it can look now. Don't forget to uh, place some barriers from time to time so the wither skeletons can't pass finds uh, to you and you can kill them way easier. And uh, then I want to show you around what we did here. So first up we have this long tunnel here, that is the first one. And it leads to the big place in the middle where every tunnel that we did uh, is connected. So uh, then here in the middle we have some safe spots as you can see. Uh, here we can stand with some barriers that is safe and these areas which is uh, surrounded by the uh, slabs, this is all spawn uh, area and if uh, you're alone here and running around you get lots of spawns. I got five skulls only from uh, building this. Then next let's check out uh, the tunnel over here and uh, if Rika comes with us we can maybe see uh, that these guys uh, will despawn or at least some new ones will spawn. So here we've got a just a long tunnel without any intersections but this is good because if we run here to the back we can let everything despawn and as soon as we go back to the middle we will get new mobs spawning. So uh, now we are quite, quite far away and we can go back and uh, then there should be new mobs and maybe also some wither skeletons spawning now. But I hope that there are not too many now because I just want to go through. So you can see that we've got new stuff spawning with the skeletons, blazes. And we need to be careful because if a blaze hits a zombie pigman, that's not good, as you can hear. And uh, then let's just go over to this side here. And there's a wither skeleton already waiting. So that's not good what I'm doing right now, <laughs> just going through without killing the stuff. Because then your back isn't safe, as you can see. But I want to show you this, because here we have two more intersections. And uh, then there's also a, an entrance connected. Um, so we can enter the thing safely. So as you can see, these parts are also cut off with a barrier. So this place is uh, one area for its own. And then over there is now a safe entrance, which is better than the other one that we had before. You can't imagine how good it feels now to be back in the overworld, even if the night vision now turns off. We got five wither scouts here and Rik got one too, so it's potential for two withers that we have here. And hopefully we don't have to go back to the end, or to the nether, not to the end, um, as soon. Maybe we can go to the end next time, but that's something we'll see. If you have any other suggestions what we should do in the next episode, let us know in the comments. Uh, I know that there were a few suggestions we should uh, build a gold farm, but that's not something that I want to do right now. I think we should keep on working on the base and gold is not um, yeah, the material that we really need at the moment. But for the future, maybe we can do that. And uh, yeah, keep in mind to suggest something for the iron golems and maybe build something on the community server it would make me really, really happy. But besides that, it was a total success today with the episode. It took forever to record this. Um, the footage that you just uh, saw in the last minutes was actually, uh, let's say, three to four hours of footage that I had to cut and it was a lot of fun. But um, other than that, uh, that's it for today. And I hope that I will see you then in the next episode. Would make me really happy. And uh, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you then in the next episode.